idea, babe. Say, how about a lot? Does that answer your question, buddy? The Adventures of Macy, starring Anne Southern. You all remember Metro Goldwyn Mayer's famous Maisie pictures. In just a moment, you'll hear Maisie in radio, starring the same glamorous star you all went to see and loved on the screen, Ann Southern. But first, your announcer. And now, here's Ann Southern as Maisie. Yep, I'm Maisie, like the fella said, Maisie Revere. In show business, jobs are very seldom. So to keep my stomach from seceding from the rest of me, I became what you call a jack-of-all-trades. I'd go into any trade that had any jack in it. Legitimate only, of course. The jobs I've taken to keep the wolf from the door, believe me, I could write a book. I'll never forget the time I was working as a census taker. It was in one of those hillbilly states where if anybody wore shoes, you knew right away he was a tourist. I'll never forget one farmhouse on my beat. The laugh I made it. It looked like the house was made of driftwood and some of the wood was still drifting. Who's that? Open the door and I'll tell you. I mean, you. I've come to take the census. Go away. We ain't got none. Look, Zeke, I'm too tired for humorous sayings. Open up. I come from the capital of the United States. You mean Washington, D.C.? I don't mean Richmond, Virginia. Good day, mister. Uh, I'd like to ask you some questions. Questions? Yeah. The government wants to know how many people there are in this country. Well, tell them to ask somebody else. I don't even know how many people are in this here town. Oh, well, uh, you don't understand, mister. Every 20 years, the government sends around census takers from house to house to see who was born. Hmm. Now, how about you? Oh, well, you can put me down, miss. I was born. Hmm. Congratulations. Mm. Now, what's your name? Jed Hawkins. Jed Hawkins. Uh, what do you do for a living, Mr. Hawkins? Live? Oh, well, you might say I manage your laundry. Oh, well, what's the name of the laundry? Mrs. Hawkins. Well, that's nice work if you can get it. Uh, how many children do you have, Mr. Hawkins? Children? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, let's see now. There's, there's uh, Emmy, Sherry, Luke. Bessie, Sam, Mort, Lucy... Uh, Mr. Hawkins, I just want the numbers. Uh, Fred? Uh, <clears throat> well, maybe I'd better ask your wife about the family. Uh, oh, uh, right smart idea, miss. Oh, Ma can give you the exact number of our kids. Got a mighty fine head for figures, that gal. Come from the city. Yeah, Ma's out of milk and the cow. Well, good. Where'll I find her? Oh, that's a silly question. Cow only gives milk from one place. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what do you know? I just cracked a joke. Well, crack it again. It's still wiggling. I'll go find Ma. You just relax, Jed. You must be tired. Tired? Yeah. You look like you've been breathing all day. Mrs. Hawkins. Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, who be there? I be here, Mrs. Hawkins, the census taker. Where are you? Right here in the barn, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How do you do, Mrs. Hawkins? Yeah? I'm here to inquire about your family. Well, that's right neighborly, ma'am, right neighborly. Yeah, well, shucks, ma'am, it ain't nothing at all. Tell me, Ms. Hawkins, how many young'uns you reckon you got now? Well, let's see now. There's, um, Emmy, Jerry, Lily Bell, Bessie, Melba, and then the boys. There's Luke, Edgar, oh, Just the Sam. number, Mrs. Hawkins, not the variety. Oh, oh, I- I've had nine kids. Nine, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, um, question number two. Y- you own this farm? Mm-hmm. Nope, but we're going to own one real snazzy one, too. Soon as Lily Bell gets herself famous as a picture star actress in that there Hollywood. Oh, you got a daughter in the movies, Mrs. Hawkins? Oh, not yet, ma'am, but it won't be long now, I reckon. Oh, Mom. Well, who is this, Mrs. Hawkins? One of your older boys. Shucks, no, ma'am. This year's Lily Bell. She's a girl. You sure? 
Oh, these here clothes I'm wearing is paws. I- I'm leaving my going to meeting clothes for when I leave for Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Lily Bell's the purtiest gal in these here parts, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take off your paws hat, honey, and show the lady. Oh, sure, Ma. There. Hmm. You are pretty. I mean, pretty. <laughs> A little too pretty for Hollywood, honey. What you mean, ma'am? Well, Lily Bell, Hollywood's full of pretty hip guys. You know what can happen to a pretty girl all alone there? Oh, shucks, yeah. <laughs> Ain't it exciting? Lily Bell, I'm telling you again, when you get to Hollywood and them city fellas try to get too friendly like, you remember what you learned at your mother's knee. Well, that's good advice, ma'am, but it ain't easy to remember what you learned at a mother's knee when you're on a man's lap. Now, I'll get on with the census questions. What is your average I think income? I am. You and sure do seem to know all about Hollywood. You ever been there? Acted in pictures, maybe? Well, yeah, as an extra. Now, what is your average income? extra? In... What say extra? Any actor or actress without enough money to go home. Now, your average income... You in... mean that some girls don't become stars in Hollywood? Uh, a few. Most of them were like me, had to make a living by working. Lily Bell, I ain't so sure I want you to go to Hollywood. Oh, now, now you're very young, and and suppose you don't get to be a star real quick. Well, you were all ain't... alone there, and me and your pa didn't make very much money last year. Oh, and now we're getting someplace. How much didn't you and pa make last year? Oh, shucks, Ma, you, you don't have to worry about me. Shucks, I, I'll be a star just as soon as they get my screen test in Hollywood. Please, your average... In... Screen test? Mm-hmm. Everybody in these parts has been a-getting themselves all slicked up to have movie tests that their selves tooken. Afore that Hollywood talent scout leaves town. Now, Mr. Fontaine, that best the director. Why, he says I got as much as Lana Turner and Betty Grable put together. <laughs> well, you have, honey, even though maybe it wasn't put together as good. I sure hope that Mr. Fontaine is right, Lily Bell, and that you get that picture contract he promised you right quick. That there screen test you took cost me and your pa our lifetime savings. A hundred dollars. He charged you a hundred bucks for a screen test? But that's ridiculous. <laughs> Ain't it, though? He charged all the others in town two hundred. But I didn't have that much, so he took me for a hundred. Well, he certainly did. Mrs. Hawkins, do they have a sheriff in this town? Oh, sure do. Lamb Williams. Why, ma'am, you going to take his senses now? No, but I'm going to tell him how all the people in this town have lost their senses. That Fontaine's a phony. Real movie scouts don't take money for tests. Are you sure, ma'am? Oh, but, but Mr. Fontaine, he, he promised me I'd be a star. He says I got what it takes. Yeah, and then he takes what you got. Honey, I'm sorry, but it's better to find out the truth this way. That phony screen test gimmick is one of the oldest and dirtiest rackets ever dreamed up. God. We was accounting on Lily Bell being a star in pictures mighty quick like. That there hundred dollars was our feed and seed money. I'm sorry, Ma. It were all my fault for getting me into this. Well, maybe it's not too late to get your money back. That Fontaine and his outfit belong in jail, and I'm gonna try and see if they get there. I gotta get to the sheriff before they smell a rat. You got a car, Mrs. Hawkins? Yep. There it is over yonder. Hmm. I'm in a hurry. I'd better walk. <laughs> Yeah, ma'am, you were looking for somebody? Yeah, the sheriff. Well, I be him. Howdy. I be Major Revere. Sheriff, I just came from Mrs. Hawkins, and it's the dirtiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, now, now, ma'am. Miss Hawkins may be sloppy, but that's no call to get insulted. Well, you got to do something about it before it's too late. Do something about what? Poor Mrs. Hawkins. She worked hard all her life, develops rheumatism in her back, and now it's gone. The rheumatism? No, the money. What money? Well, cows won't give milk if they don't get fed, will they? Well, I reckon not, ma'am. Well, you got to do something about it. Uh, do so, uh, you got well, a gun? Well, yeah, ma'am, but when a cow won't give milk, he won't give milk and threaten him won't help. Hey, yeah. Goodbye, ma'am. You mean you're going to go back to sleep and not do anything about it? About what, ma'am? What about Lily Bell? You got to get her money back and all the others, too. I do? Why? Why, he asks. I happen to know that they're phonies. You do? Well, of course I do. Now, will you arrest them? Well, sure, let's go. Oh, at last. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. 
Who am I going to arrest? Fontaine and his mob. Oh, that uh, movie director from Hollywood. Yeah, so it's finally sinking in, huh? What's sinking in? Sheriff, how many times must I tell you? Just once, ma'am, just once. I catch on real fast. Say, say, you know this here, Fontaine? Yes, and he charged Lily Bell Hawkins $100 for a screen test. He did? Yes. Why, that's the dirtiest deal I ever heard of. I'm going over to Fontaine's place right now for a showdown. And a boy, Sheriff. He can't go around taking advantage of Hollywood struck schmoes like that. I'll say that Fontaine charging Lily Bell a hundred bucks for a screen test. It ain't right, that's what it just plum ain't right. You plum said it, Sheriff. Why, he charged me two hundred for mine. Oh, fine. <laughs> Adventures of Maisie, starring Anne Southern, will continue in just a moment. Miss, I don't have to stop the presses. This is only a weekly newspaper, and this isn't the day we print. Besides, we have our scoop for this issue. Oh, well, look, Mr. Editor, I'm not one of the local jerks. I'm from Washington. Oh? FBI? No, D.C. I'm with the Department of Facts and Figures, and I've got an interesting fact to show you. And you got an interesting figure, too. Um, what's on your mind, Miss? Well, not the same that's on yours, chum. <laughs> You ain't from these parts, are you? Oh, don't let the fact that I'm wearing shoes fool you, gal. Spent all my life down here in these hills, except for four years at Yale, of learning to follow in my pappy's footsteps as editor of this year's paper. Uh, David Lawrence is the name, ma'am. Oh, well, mine's Maisie Revere. I was sent out here to count noses. Well, ma'am, we ain't no different than any other folks. Each one of us got just one nose. Yeah, but some of you act like you got two heads and no brains in either one of them. Do you know that that director, Fontaine, is stealing hard-earned money from these movie wacky folks? Yep. Well, why don't you do something about it? Like what, ma'am? Well, I print in your paper that, that Fontaine is a crook. That he's a crook and that real honest-to-goodness talent scouts from Hollywood don't charge for screen tests. Yeah. Say, you, you do know about that racket then, don't you? I should, ma'am. It cost me 400 bucks. Oh. You mean you took a screen test, too? No, my five-year-old daughter... When I came home last night, I found out I'd suddenly become the father of a female Butch Jenkins. Oh, jeepers. Your wife ought to take the brat over her knee and spank some sense into her. Come now, miss. Catherine Hepburn only uses child psychology on tots. Really, she does. Oh, brother. Your wife got it, too, huh? Worse. But if you knew all the time, why didn't you tell your wife that Fontaine was a phony? I did. Well, what happened? I'm living at the Y now. Oh, left you. And took Jenkins and Lassie with her. Lassie? Oh, everybody in my family has talent. Even our dog. <laughs> but look, Mr. Lawrence, if you printed the truth in your paper... I'd be sued for libel. But Fontaine is a crook. He isn't as long as we can't prove it. Yeah, but we can prove it. Yeah? How? Well, you know you can catch more flies with honey. What are you getting at, Maisie? Just call me honey. Please, I'm a married man. Practically. And if you want to get your wife and kid back for keeps, and the money, too, this is your only chance before Fontaine milks the town dry and goes off to other green pastures. Sure, sure, but what's the gimmick? Well, it's a cinch. I'm going to drop in on Fontaine and pretend that I'm just a local gal who yearns to be another Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, and get him to give you a screen test. Uh-huh, and this is where you come in. Look, you get hold of that sheriff and then get hold of a recording machine. When I take my screen test, but I did not kill him, Your Honor. I didn't. I tell you, 
I didn't. I didn't. Cut. Oh. Oh, that was terrific, Mr. Jenkins. Just terrific. You know, when that test gets to Hollywood, you'll be the new dramatic find of the year. Gosh, you really liked it. You, you thought it was sad? Sad, Mr. Jenkins. It was miserable, wasn't it, Harry? <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Jenkins. You see, you got me crying. That'll be $200, please. Two hundred? But I thought the screen test was only a hundred. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, ordinarily, but in, in your test, we had film in the camera. Huh? Uh, he means technicolor film. <laughs> you see, that's much, much more expensive. Oh, I suppose it is. Well, here's the money, Mr. Fontaine. I had to sell my tractor to get it. Mr. Jenkins, that's the best investment you ever made. Oh, that's so right. You know, six months from now, you're going to be a big star. I will. With your name billed on theater marquees over the cooling system. Mm. Count the money, Harry. All there. Well, shall I leave my address? Oh, no, we have your number. <laughs> well, goodbye for now, Mr. Jenkins. But, but how do you this know where to way my out. contract? No, on, I've got to get my name spelled right on the light. Well, Harry, we squeeze plenty out of the yokels in this town. <laughs> Go on, pack up the equipment. We'll move on to the next one. Yeah, word. but, boss, there's another pigeon waiting outside for a test. Oh, no, 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 no more. We're taking chances hanging around this town so long. Somebody might get wise, you know. Go send them away. This one's a girl. A dame? Eh. Yeah. Mm. Yes, well, I think we got time for just one more. <laughs> send her it. <in. laughs> this doll's right off the store, Casanova. Gingham dress, hair ribbons, and that wide-eyed look. Oh, that sounds like peachy fun. Yeah. yeah, send her in and get a load of real talent at work. Are you kidding? This dame ain't got no talent. No, but I have. <laughs> Get her in here, boy. Okay, babe. I mean, miss, you're next. Yes, come in, miss. Hollywood is waiting for you. This is a terrific... <whistles> opportunity. Hello, mister. Well, well, well. Come in, my pretty one. And what might your name be? Maisie Bell. Poetry. Sheer poetry. Isn't that right, Harry? <laughs> Maisie Bell what? Maisie Bell Cretch. End of poetry. Yeah, well, it's a nice name, Miss. Uh, uh, Cretch has a distinctive sound. Yeah, yeah, like the ripping of a rag. Of course, mister, when I'm a getting to be one of them there picture stars, I'm going to change my name to something more Hollywoody. Oh, that's very wise, my dear, that's very wise. What are you going to change it to? Greer Kvetch. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's much better, much better. Baby, you come to the right place to become a star. That she did. Miss Kvetch, after you take our screen test, you'll be famous. Gosh. All over the country, on every theater marquee, you will have your name in lights. Jeepers. Won't that take an awful lot of kerosene? No, just an awful lot of money. Money? Yeah, you got some, ain't you? Well, it's like this, mister. Oh, I'm sorry, miss, but I don't think you'll do. You see, we're very finicky talent scouts, and we're looking for a certain type for our next picture. Well, all I brought with me is $500. That's what I said. You're just the type, isn't that right, oh, Harry? exactly, exactly, exactly. You're just what we've been waiting for, baby. You've got everything. Uh, shall I set up the cameras, uh, boss? Yes, yes, do. And a great talent, too. Uh, let's see it, Miss. Sure. And they'll be coming around the mountain when they come, when they come, and they'll be coming around the mountain when they come. Not the talent, the money. Oh, the money. Oh. You want it right now? Why, sure, babe. You want our deluxe screen test with film and the camera and everything, don't you? Yep. But I ain't giving you the dough. I mean, the money. I hear tell that some of you talent scouts ain't the real thing. You have. Yep. And I ain't a-giving you the money till after the test. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, that's different, honey. Yep. I've been around, mister. And I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, but do you have the money on you? Yep. Where? <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, miss. I'll set up the cameras to take you. I, I mean, uh, your test. Now, Miss uh, Kvitch, first we're going to shoot a romantic scene. Uh, do you mind if I uh, give you a few pointers? I allow you might. <laughs> now, just pretend that... I'm the handsome leading man in the scene. Oh, shucks, mister. For that, I don't have to pretend. Oh, well, you mind if I, uh, if I just put my arm around you? Oh, how you might. Uh-huh. And is it all right if I, uh, like this? Uh-uh. I allow, I allow too much already. Hey, come on, boss. Get to work. I am. I, I mean, I'll be right with you. <laughs> now, Miss Fetch. While I set up the right camera angles with my assistant, just read over the part for the test, huh? Read? You can read and write, can't you? Oh, sure. Well, you just study the part, and when I give the signal, give it everything. This test means an awful lot, you know. You ain't just kidding, mister. Now, oh, good. I'll be ready for you in just a minute. I'll be right there, Harry. Maisie. Maisie. Where are you, Daisy? Over here. Not so loud, Davy. What we're doing is against the law. Well, what these crooks are doing is against the law, too, Sheriff. And in a few minutes, I'm going to have the goods on them. So, so even you will believe the truth. Here, Maisie. Plug this into the recording machine into the socket by the wall. Okay. Oh! Miss Fetch, what happened? It shucks nothing, Mr. Fontaine. I was just reading that there love scene. But I just saw sparks coming out of your fingers. I know. Sure is a mighty hot love scene. Yeah, yeah. Hurt yourself, Maisie? No. One of the wires in the plug was loose. Mm, never did trust that there newfangled electricity. Give me the kerosene lamp any day. Now, Maisie, we're going to duck down out of here. You're sure you can get the evidence that they're crooks? I'll get it. You just make sure that the recording machine keeps going. We're going to get the kind of goods on these crooks that'll put them away for a long time. Ready for your part, miss? I'll be ready, mister. Okay. Lights. Camera. Action. Oh, Pierre. His Majesty will never give his consent. If we were married, what lies in the road? Ahead? Miss Kretsch. Miss Kretsch, that's... What lies in the road ahead? Keep going, Miss Fetch. You're doing terrific. Thank you. After all, monster... Uh, that's monsieur. Oh. <laughs> After all, monsieur, I am betrothed to his majesty, King Louis the X. I, I, I... Ay, 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 ay. That's King Louis the Thirteenth. <laughs> Continue. You're doing superb, superb. Oh, if I am caught, he will put my head on the gelatine, and then... Cut. Oh, that's wonderful, Miss Kvetch. Do you know I've never come across an actress like you? Hey, Harry? Never. Mm. When this test gets to Hollywood, you know producers will be amazed. You'll be a star overnight. Five hundred dollars, please. <laughs> you kidding, chum. No, no, I... Uh... Miss Kvetch... Your accent. Hey, hey, she's a phony. Well, aren't we all, Bob? I don't know what you mean, miss. We're legitimate. Sure, sure, we all are. I wouldn't think of lossing up this racket. There's too many Hollywood happy jerks in this country that still ain't been plucked. Oh, now, look, sister, we don't need any partners. We're doing okay without help. But you could do much better if you had a real actress like me. A lot of male schnooks would suddenly get a yen for a screen test. They had a gal like me in the love scene. But, but you right. don't... I, She's right, Harry. I, with a dame like her, we could clean up. <laughs> you ain't kidding, pal. With me in the scene, when you yelled lights, camera, action, they'd really get action. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you got something there, boss. A gold mine, a very pretty gold mine. This dough we've been chiseling out of the rack, it'll be chicken feed compared to what we can do. Oh, there's an awful lot of goons with dough that would really go for this phony setup with a decoy like her. Hey, you can say that again, boss. You don't have to say it again, chums. We got it down the first time. Hey, we've been framed. Yeah, you guys may not have a record, but we do. Don't we, Sheriff? Sheriff? 
And we got the proof we need on this here recording machine. Enough to send you up for 20 years. 20 years? But we... Hello, we, folks, I, you I, got I, us all wrong. All we've been doing is making a legitimate moving picture. I know, fellas. And this is The End. <laughs> In just a moment, we shall return to the adventures of Maisie. And now, once again, here's Maisie. Well, that put a stop to Fontaine's Sony talent scout racket. After the law stepped in, they took pictures, too. Only these were strictly front and side views. And all the folks that were gypped out of their life savings got their money back, and they learned their lesson to examine before they buy. A skunk can always be mistaken for a pussycat unless you get real close. And I hope those crooks will come out of jail sadder but wiser. Well, i got to be on my way again. And my shoes are killing me. Hmm. Maybe those hillbillies got the right idea after all. <laughs> You've just heard The Adventures of Maisie, starring Anne Southern. <laughs> Maisie was written by Arthur Phillips. Original music was composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman. Supporting cast included B. Benaderet, Will Wright, Sammy Hill, Peter Leeds, Bob Cole, and Gerald Moore. Jack McCoy speaking. <laughs> 